Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here. Now, earlier this week, I released a video where I reviewed a new LED light from Aputure, their COB120D light, and uh, I'll put a, a link up here if you wanna go check out that review. Uh, but in the process of doing that review, it was really in depth, and it ended up being more than just a review. We actually were able to share a lot of important information about lighting and about LED lighting. Um, and one of those little bits of information, one of those segments in there that I thought was really strong and important was the difference between CRI and TLCI. And these refer to the quality of light and basically, uh, you know, if you're going to get good accurate colors um, while you're filming using those lights. A lot of times it comes into play now that we have LED lights are so common. Sometimes they might not have the best uh, you know, color rendering and you may end up with some, some weird color casts. But not everybody knows about CRI and TLCI. So considering that segment was such important information and it was buried in the middle of kind of a lengthy review, I wanted to split that off and share it with you as its own standalone segment. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys take a look at the segment from that review video regarding CRI and TLCI and which one you guys should really be looking at. So two of the measurements that I mentioned earlier were CRI and TLCI. Um, and I want to briefly go into what the difference is between them right now. So CRI is one that we hear quite often and a lot of manufacturers use that to tell you what the quality of their, their light is and what it stands for is color rendering index. Now we've used that for a long time and a lot of people swear by that as the method for judging the quality of light. But technically what you really should be looking at is the TLCI. And what TLCI is, is the Television Lighting Consistency Index. I had to think about that one for a second. But what it is, is basically it's the difference between CRI being the way uh, colors are interpreted by your eye and how accurately that light will allow your eye to see colors, while TLCI is rated for how accurately a camera is going to be able to see those colors. So obviously that's more important for us. Now, you may think, well, if the CRI is good enough, a TLCI should be good enough too, right? Not always the case. To show you a demonstration of that, right here I have the Aperture 120D. Here I have another brand light that is a similar style of a single source LED light. About $300 cheaper uh, than the Aperture. Um, both of them have their respective Bowens mount Fresnel lenses on them so that we can spot them onto this backdrop behind me. So what I want to do is I want to check each of these and I want to see what their CRI is and I more importantly want to see what their TLCI is and I think we're going to see a difference here. So let's go ahead and let's start with the Aperture. So we take our reading. All right, our aperture gives us a CRI rating of 95.5, which is great, but more importantly, a TLCI rating of 97.4. So that's fantastic. That means that both to our eyes and to cameras, the color recreation coming from this light is going to look accurate. Now let's check on the, the cheaper light and see what we get. So take our reading. And here we go. So we get a CRI on this light of 91.3. Now, uh, that means the manufacturer would advertise this as being probably a 90 plus CRI light and you'd think that's fantastic. Then we get to our TLCI, which is what we're really looking for. And this light has a TLCI of 68.9. Uh, which means you're going to have some serious color shifts. And you can probably actually see just behind me uh, the difference between the two lights. One is going to look white and one looks like it has a little bit of color shift going on in there. And that's because of the TLCI and the quality of the LED. So hope you uh, understand the difference between CRI and TLCI and make sure to try and check out the TLCI of lights and ask manufacturers if they have those specs on their lights because it's really going to help you uh, get the best quality light. So there you go guys. I'm glad I was able to split that segment out there so not everybody has to watch the long review and I wanted to make sure that this information reached as many people as possible. So please, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you dislike this video for some reason, you can dislike it. I'll be okay with it. 
um, I'm, a, I'm a strong guy, I'll, I'll handle it. Um, but like I said, I wanna get this information out there, so please feel free to share this video wherever you would like and share it with people who may find this information helpful. Of course, if you wanna be notified whenever I have new videos like this coming out, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell, the notification bell that YouTube has added so that you're notified the moment I have a video come out. So there you go, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.